In this question, there's multiple parts. The first part is plot the points in a grid below. I'm going to skip that part. It takes a little bit of time. Just make sure you plot eight points. And if you mess up, you have to clear all of them. So if you draw nine points, you have to clear them all and start over. I'm going to go down here to the draw the best fit trend line on the grid below. All right, we have to get that line. So I'm putting in all the values here. Like we've done, you're making a insert chart scatter. And then, oops, didn't want to do that. Just want to move it over. Plus, trend line, click the arrow, more options. Again, if this page doesn't, if this little panel doesn't come up, close it and do uh, what I just did again. It should come up. We need to display equation. I just put the R value up there. I just said the R squared value. All right, so here's the line I need right here. So I'm just gonna copy and paste. All right, we need to draw this line. So I'm clicking on the line tool. So the Y value is, the Y intercept is negative 1.5. Now that's a bit tricky to get here where uh, these X, Y axis intersect is zero. And I wanna go down 1.5. Now notice the scale on this, let me make this a little bigger. The scale on this is five for each right here. So I need to go Ah, something like this. I'm clicking once. I thought I was clicking once. There we go. All right. And all right. My slope is very close to one. It's a little bit less. So I'm actually going to go over. Let's go over five and up five. So I'm a little bit because I started a little bit below the zero zero right there that if I started at zero zero I'd click right there for over one up one so I'm gonna use that uh oh all right I'll try this one more time all right we got one shot at this okay so I'm going to try to get a slope of one, not clicking. So this looks like I'm going up one and over one if I went to here. Uh, now I need point, about 0 0.9, not one. So I'm going to try to make this about 10% less. So we're going to go right about there. All right. Now I clicked outside. I'm going to hit submit. All right, so I have the line in here now. Uh, if that's tricky, remember you can use Desmos on here. Uh, you can copy this, go to Desmos. Where am I? Oops, I already have Desmos up. Great, paste, clean it up. That's, is that, that's not what I wanted. There we go. All right. First thing I notice, I want to get the zoom in a similar way. You can click this and get that thing out of the way, get all the information out of the way once you have it in. So I'm trying to go zero to 50 and then in the Y axis, zero to 50. So right here, not perfect. 50 is not showing up. There we go. All right. So you can use Desmos and I would, I have one point there and then the other point go over to 50 and right there. So it's about 44.5. So if you need more precision, use Desmos to get this line more accurate. All right, last one. Predict the value if a student had a score of 13 on the first test. So once you have this right here, I don't want to click as dangerous. So actually I'm going to use Desmos. Uh, so just think where 13 would be between 10 and 15, a little closer to 15, but I can actually use Desmos here. I have the, this is not an approximate line of Desmos. This is the actual line here. 
So I'm gonna zoom in, use the scroll wheel to zoom in, and then you left click and drag to move it. I'm looking for 13, and I can click right here. So 13 and 10.4. So again, you can drag anywhere here, 13, 10.4. All right, I think I said 10.4. Okay, now I do wanna show you how to do this in Excel because I'm teaching you everything in Excel. So let's go back here. So I wanna use this right here. I'm gonna go with a, an X and a Y. Oops, I'll just put X equals right here. All right, X is the 13 value right there. So I'm typing in 13. Now over here, I wanna do a computation. So I start with the equal sign. Now I'm gonna type in the slope, just copying it by typing it in, six, seven. All right, now X, so I multiply by that value right there, then minus 1.5. So there we go. Put that in. So that's the exact answer to this. Okay. Uh, you could, if you're a copy paste maniac and you really want to copy and paste everything. So again, I grabbed only the starting at the equal sign here. And so I grabbed the whole equation. X doesn't want to work. So I do multiply by, I replace the X with A63. Uh, or where, whatever cell your X value is in. Uh, you could type 13 in here if you want as well. So I guess I'll do that just for completeness. You could just type in your X value.